Hey, so in this one, we're going to be installing a GFCI uh, outlet and a waterproof or weatherproof outlet cover. So let's check it out. So I'm working on this back corner of my house where I don't have an outlet to use for the yard for any of my power tools. But I do have this blank with power in it, uh, which is a blank cover on it. There is power in there. It's a 20 amp circuit. So we're going to install a 20 Enco 20 amp GFCI breaker and a Hubble Tamac. This is a MM410 Charlie uh, polycarbonate cell cover. Um, so first got to take this plate off. There used to be power going into a conduit underground that ran to old fencing I had. The old fencing I tore down had a security line on it. I removed all that cabling. So now there's just wires in there with nothing hooked to it. So I'm basically doing the outlet so I have power over here. Alright, so I got the cover off, I ver the breakers off, and I verified everything's dead. Uh, this is 12 2, 12 AUG, 20 amp circuit. It's a 20 amp breaker inside, so I got a 20 amp Anko GFCI. I chose this one because it's got. Um, power on green light and then a red light that flashes every 30 seconds to do a self test to let you know it's still good and it does a little self test procedure. So both these products I'll be using today I got on Amazon as always links in the description uh, but let's go ahead and get the uh, breaker installed or outlet installed sorry. So on this outlet I have um, pots on this side where the gold screws are and neutrals where the silver screws are on this side. The top is for line and bottom is for load. So my power in has to come to line. Load would be power out to something else. In this case, I have nothing else. So I'm just going to be going black and neutral here. And then there's a ground on top. Now this is, you can't use the side screws on these models. These screws actually tighten down the wires. So this is a backstab into the hole method. Now it's not the one usually people complain about that has the self locking with the detent. It's actually manually locked into the backstabbing. Much better way to do it. And why it's the choice on outlets like this. So let's go ahead and get it wired up. Alright, so I got my ground installed first. Um, and now i got to strip my wires. It actually has a strip gauge for the depth. It's about the width of my thumb. So let's go ahead and strip the ends of these wires to get installed. And I'll show you a little bit how it goes in. So I have it stripped. Here's my hot gold side. So the screw has to be in so that the blank hole in the termi terminal is bare for the wire to go all the way in. So I'm going to hold that screw in. And I'm just going to pick one of the line ends. Just go with the top one. Shove it all the way in. Now, as you see, it'll just pop back up. It's not a traditional auto locking back uh, stab. So it goes in, then I have to tighten that screw. And that compresses the clamp inside that holds it. So now it is tight and secured and compressed in that clamp. So I'll finish getting the other side in and get this mounted in the box. Alright, so I swapped out to the little bit longer screws. Got them in there, not tightened all the way. Um, and again, they will come through these keyholes and slide over. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. So I have them in. Now I'll tighten up those two screws and tighten that up on to the outlet. Alright, so the plate is mounted in with the two screws. It's also holding in the outlet. Everything's solid. You don't want to over tighten them. So I adjusted the torque setting on my screwdriver, tightened it slowly, just so I got good seal on this gasket all the way around. And it's slightly compressed but not smashed. So we're looking good there. Um, the cover can operate two ways. You can slide it into the sideways hooks uh, to open sideways, obviously, or up and down. I prefer the up down. So that's the way I'm gonna install mine. All right, so I got the cover on, went inside, flipped the breaker back on. All right, so I got a green light here. So it means I should have power. I just brought out a little battery charger to test it. Now these are tamper resistant and water resistant outlets. 
So it's got the little guard you have to push through. And I have a flashing light on my charger. So cool. The outlet works. Now, this is waterproof when closed. If you want it to be waterproof in use, there is a little punch out here that you would break with pliers. Show you that real quick at the bottom. I'm not going to punch mine out. I don't need this outlet to be weatherproof in use. Uh, it will only be used temporarily when I have power tools, leaf blower, etc. plugged in. But you would um, break that little tab out. That way you can plug your cord in and send your cord through the tab and then lock your cover back down, making it weatherproof in use. So there we go, and I just saw the little red flash for the self-test. It says it does it every 30 seconds or so, 40 seconds, something like that. For this Anco 20 amp GFC outlet and the Hubble Tamac um, ML, can't remember, we'll link it in the description, it was a MM410 Charlie. And this is the clear polycarbonate cover. I like the look. So there we go, this one's done. Yeah, so that's it for this one. Um, just a little quick uh, review of these two, review and install the two products. Again, like always, links in the description. Thanks for watching. Right, bye.